Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about program to display triangle using a straw in this format. Next, I'm going to discuss about the way of execution of this program. So, if you debug the code, then control comes to main function. Here, after control comes inside, and here I have taken two integer type variable int i and now next j. Also, right here, I will start from 5. Or oh, then that check the condition 5 greater than or equal to 1. So that's true. Control comes to this point. Or J start from 1. Check the condition 1 less than or equal to 5. So that's true. Control comes inside. Add here. Or oh, that print as star. Now from here, J gonna increase by 1. J become 2. And add here. Check the condition to less than equal to 5. So that's true. Here after that go inside print star. Next again, j can I increase by 3. Check the condition 3 less than equal to 5. That's true. Again, that print star. Again, j increase by 3 to 4. Now, check the condition for less than equal to i. So, that's true. Here after, that go instead and print a star. Now, again, uh, j increase by 1. So, j 4 to 5. Now, check the condition 5 less than equal to 5. So, that's true. Again, that print a star. So this is the first, second, third and fourth, fifth star. Again, uh, j increase by 1. So j become 5 to 6. Check the condition 6 less than equal to 5. That's so not true. So control comes to this point and here cursor blink at this position. Now from here, uh, the i will decrease by 1. So i become 4 to uh, 5 to 4. Uh, check the condition five, uh, 4 greater than equal to 1 so that's to come inside j start from 1 again uh, check the condition 1 less than equal to 4 so that's to go inside print a star now again j increase by 1 so j become 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to 4 condition 2 go inside print a, print a star Or uh, from here j increase by 1 so j become 3 to or 2 to 3 check the condition 3 less than equal to 4 condition or uh, true then that go inside print a star now j increase by 1 so j become 4 check the condition 4 less than equal to 4 condition true now go inside and print a star Now again uh, j increase by 1. So j become 4 to 5. Check the condition 5 less than equal to 4. So condition not true. Uh, cursor blink at this position. Add to a new line. And here after i gonna decrease by 1. So i become 4 to 3. Check the condition 3 greater than equal to 1. So that's true. Here after j I start from 1 again. Check the condition 1 less than equal to 3. Condition or true, then go inside print a star. Again, j gonna increase by 1. So j become 2 to 3. So right here, oh sorry, 1 to 2. j or 2. Now check the condition 
2 less than equal to 3, condition true, again that coincide print a star. So again, j increase by 1, so j become 2 to 3, check the condition 3 less than equal to 3, condition true, then print a star again. Now, or j become 3 to 4, check the condition 4 less than equal to 3, so that's not true, now cursor blink at new position. So again, that to go up and decrease the value of i. So I become 3 to 2, check the condition, 2 greater than equal to 1, so that's true, again that go inside j, I start from 1 again, check the condition, 1 less than equal to 2, condition to print a star. Now j gonna increase by 1, so j become 2, check the condition, 2 less than equal to 2, condition true, now print again a star. Now here that go up, increase the value of j, so j become 3, check the condition 3 less than equal to 2, condition true, oh sorry, condition false, so print new line, here that or decrease the value of i. So i become 2 to 1. Check the condition 1 greater than 1. So that's true. Or again that coincides j start from 1. And uh, check the condition 1 less than equal to 1. Condition true. No, that print s star. So from here j gonna increase by 1. So j become 2. Check the condition 2 less than equal to 1. So that's not true. That now part inside cursor. Or uh, uh, control comes to this point, printer. So now cursor blink at the new line. Here after that increase, or sorry, decrease the value of i. So i become 1 to 0. Check the condition 0 greater than equal to 1. That's not true. So control out from upper for loop. Now get sales function. So that take one input from keyboard and terminate the output screen. So this is the way of execution of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So thanks for watching. See you next video.